Ladies and gentlemen, this is Smombo number five. John here, guys. Today we're talking about the Team Black Sheep Mambo. That's right, the latest radio from Team Black Sheep. This is a tracer protocol radio, whereas the Tango 2 is Crossfire. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit cheaper, and I feel like it actually fits in the hand a lot better. This kind of bridges the gap between a full size radio like the Radio Master or the Jumper, and you can see the size comparison right here. It'll take up a little bit less room in the bag, but most notably is there's actually a tiny little diamond antenna in here. So you're actually gonna get pretty good reception. It's basically a mini version of this diamond antenna that I use on my Crossfire module that comes with it for only $139.99. Uh, so who is this for though? I think that most beginners are better off starting out with crossfire i feel like tracer is still something that is for people that really need that low latency racers and maybe some people like steel that just need the absolute lowest latency when they're bando bashing or ripping but i feel like crossfire has more widespread appeal so i would have liked to see a crossfire option for this but it does have a full-size module bay so with a few clicks on the radio you're ready to go with crossfire on board or express lrs this is actually what i'm going to be using on this radio i just i don't really have a need for tracer express lrs is meeting my needs for racing it offers a very small inexpensive and 500 hertz refresh rate welcome to mambo one of the things i really like is how these little rests go right here for your index and the next finger uh it's just perfect it, it feels so good in the hand especially if you are a thumber now if you were a pincher those fingers now kind of move up a little bit so now your pinky would be kind of right here in this little channel and your other fingers comfortably wrap around the top i mean the grip on this whether you're a pincher or thumber is just un paralleled now some people will argue that it's been proven that tracer can fly out a million miles and yeah you know maybe that's true it does have lower latency but i don't know if i would trust it as much as trusty crossfire they go in there just like that i believe you can also charge them from the included usb c port on the bottom left now i don't like this for simulator um, you really want it at the top somewhere along the top is the best practice because the computer is going to be in front of you and now you're going to have to have an extra long USB-C wire that's going to come wrap around all the way over here I do like that it's on the side versus the middle because the middle it's like right on your stomach so that's slightly better but it's still annoying the placement is not Good. I really, really like this jog wheel. Very easy to navigate. The three buttons right here are pretty standard. Trims for those that need it, I will never use that. This little swirly thing that I don't even know what anyone would use that for. It's probably for wing guys or something. Um, the buttons up here, very similar to a Tango 2, although the action doesn't feel that great on this one for some reason. This one does not stay in uh, so I guess this is more like a momentary switch. I don't know what's up with that But it does have real switches on the front the Tango 2 does not that was something you had to get used to So I only use three switches So I'm gonna be using this for modes this for turtle mode and this for arms the stick ins that they send you are these little trashy things these are just like oh my gosh they're terrible uh, they don't feel good i mean they're usable right but one of the cheapest and best things that you can upgrade your fpv setup is the stick ends and i highly recommend that you get a set of stick ends these are the team black sheep honey stick ends the crown jewels uh, which ship on the ethics edition of this radio are actually quite good too so here you can see the size comparison it is quite a bit smaller the thickness is pretty similar let's look at the gimbal stick distance that much, that much. It's smaller on the Mambo. Just a little bit, but it is smaller. The other popular size is this gamer style. So now you can see how much bigger it is than that. Out of the gamer style options, I vastly prefer the Tango 2. 
to this Jumper T light, but the Tango 2 also costs twice as much. This radio is only about 75 bucks. Now, it is notable that this version of Freedom TX does not seem to allow you to run 500 hertz refresh rate even on express lrs it supposedly can only go to 250 i think that's something that's going to be fixed eventually so if you are an express lrs user and you do plan to use the mambo just keep that in mind now can humans feel the difference between 250 hertz and 500 hertz refresh rate that's debatable i actually made a whole video on that i'll leave the link right there it doesn't all feel as premium as the tango 2 but i get it like that's why it's cheaper i do love the fact that there's no antennas sticking out of here by default i would really like to see this radio with just a multi-protocol module in there no tbs module you pick your own tbs module and maybe they can charge like a hundred bucks that would be freaking awesome i would recommend this to everyone i do really like the default stick tension here i don't know if i did this i get a beep every time i go to full stick deflection on the yaw axis i don't know why I probably did something, but I don't know how to turn it off and it's a little bit annoying. When I went to go fly this for the first time, my radio kept beeping and I didn't know why. That noise, that noise. That noise! It's the button. It's the button. We have turned it off! Yeah. You know, oh. I don't think that the FX version is worth the extra $50. Um, so just go ahead and buy your stick and I do like that this comes in at a very low price point. The TX16S Max is now $300. But if you need Crossfire or you need a multi-protocol module, this doesn't have it. So you're going to have to add that onto the cost. In fact, if you were to add this Crossfire module with this, you'd now be over $200. So are you better off spending a little bit more? So in the end, I'm most likely going to be sticking with my Jumper T18 Pro. I'm used to that stick throw, even though the Radio Master is more popular. I like the jumper because I'm used to that stick throw and I don't want to reset my muscle memory and have to learn and crash a lot of times until I fully adjust. If you're starting, then this is a really nice option to get, but I still think you're going to want to add a multi-protocol module so that you can play with toy grade stuff like whoops, um, which is going to add to the cost, or you're going to want to add Crossfire or Express LRS. Um, if you want to go with the absolute cheapest to get started in the hobby, I would spend minimum with this jumper t light. But I do like the gimbals on the Mambo a lot better. So this is like very small gimbal length. This is like 25 or 30% longer than the jumper is like 10 or 15% longer than this. And the Radio Master is even a little bit longer yet still. I feel like this is kind of in the middle of a few things, but maybe that's okay. This is a tracer offering. I still feel like the Tango 2 is gonna be the more popular option for a lot of people. It's more portable, it's more versatile with Crossfire. A five inch freestyle, long range, anything like that. I'm sticking with Crossfire because it's just so dang solid. I just can't say enough though about the ergonomics of this thing. Even just holding it right now, it just feels so good in the hand. I don't love how large these things are, but my muscle memory is just so tuned to this gimbal stick throw that I personally have got to stick with it, even though I don't like how this feels in the hand as much as this. I mean, God, I wish you'd just give us a gimbal that was a little bit bigger and this would probably be my daily driver. The other thing is these are the same gimbals in the Tango 2. So if you had issues getting those things calibrated, I really, really liked my Tango 2 like a lot. And I bought three different ones. I would try it. I couldn't get the gimbals to calibrate all the way. It would jitter a little bit. Now for racing and flying micros, that was never an issue. But whenever I was reviewing something where I needed to get really smooth tracking footage, I could see those jitters when I looked at the footage and I just, no matter how many times I calibrated, I couldn't get it to go away all the way. I tried two different other Tango 2s and they all had that issue after a while. So I don't know if that's something that they can fix eventually. I have not heard of people complaining about it in the Mambo, so maybe it is fixed, but just keep that in the back of your mind. The signed logo is just fantastic. And I really like the reverse coloring of the actual screen, the way it's black with white lettering instead of the reverse. It looks really, really premium. Thanks guys.